Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my first preview ever of any module. Um, this was a module sent over by Flavia over at Blue Lantern. Um, what you're looking at is the ape, this module in here. It has a blue faceplate. I believe if there's um, enough demand, he will move over and start doing black, uh, which is my favorite. Um, he sent this over in hopes uh, for me to, for me to try it, test it out. He did not ask me for a video whatsoever. So I just decided to go ahead and do it because he's been so nice that he has been actually letting me test a lot, beta test a lot of his project products. And um, I've been a bad guy and I haven't really been doing any videos for them um, since I concentrate a lot on my live shows. Um, so anyway, um, name is Compressor and bear in there with me, first video ever. So. We are um, going to be basically demonstrating how the ape behaves um, with a regular kick. We're going to be using the ape, which is right here. We're going to be using the boom check. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, audio damage right here. And then we have the Erica Sense. Um, You're going to see different knobs on mine. I felt like the ones that ship with are a little bit too thick and a little bit have really fat fingers. So. Um, it's hard to grasp those knobs with my fingers so I moved them and I had some spare I really thin trying to perhaps test the the FACA ones the neural the the little thin ones I can't remember the name knobbies I think they're called so I'm gonna orientate the camera a little bit more so you can see the boom on this side um, basically the ape um, I don't know why it's called ape I'm assuming it has something to do with uh, uh, accent I don't know your accent percussion envelope I guess uh, accent percussion oh yeah yeah uh, it's on the website uh, ac accented percussion envelope module uh, ape basically so it's uh, the width is 6 HP um, depth is 32 millimeters um, 1.2 inches clearance I don't see a current listed on the modular grid. Um, you basically are going to find a, a tag and decay envelope and a VCA built within. I'm just going to read you what the website says. It says here, uh, what does this module do? This module allows you to add that dynamic extended sound found in vintage gear like the Pearl SY1 without having to build one of those kits or hunt down the original. This uh, module was influenced by such a gear, but utilizing basically modern parts. Um, so he's not trying to clone it, he's just, you know, doing his own version of it, like most of the Eurorack stuff out there. Um, you're gonna find a VCA, um, and basically you're gonna control it with this two knobs in here, VCA and depth. You have a level volume as well in here. And everything has basically a CV in. Um, you have uh, stuff out. So we're going to start by patching my, basically, I'm going to patch my trigger first. I already have a cable that was pre-run. Just right here. going to trigger right here. Trigger one to the Erica Sense. Um, then from here, basically going to send the output into the audio audio in okay gonna lower the volume in case it's too loud um so we still don't hear anything right i'm uh gonna mess around with this and let's hope we can actually make it uh go crazy <laughs> um so we are looking at the accent uh, trigger i actually think i i got this i had this earlier Ooh. Hmm. Ooh, I remember what I did. <laughs> this is not at all what I did before. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so the, the X, the trigger is gonna be going into my trigger here, right? And then we're gonna have the, uh, the out, which is the envelope, going into my trigger. And you can see, uh, some activity in there okay and then from here I gotta send an audio signal over to the module so I just have to find a long enough cable to do it 
actually have it right in here. So I go out. Gonna go right into my Yenify. Um, Again, it can actually be an um, AD as well. You have different modes, gate, uh, the middle. I can't really figure out what the middle is. Uh, then you have trigger. I found it that for a kick like this, um, trigger in a short um, envelope will actually work better. So I'm just gonna show you what it does as I move the knobs in here. So as you can see, you can hear the envelope a little bit there. the depth. This is basically the BCA portion of it. So my level is going to be controlled by the accent on track number two. Um, okay. And back on.
kicks I'm sure you can utilize it with any other type of drums I haven't really tested it with anything else other than this kick this morning so um, I don't have any fancy intros I don't have a mirror point on my face um, many of you guys know I like to perform live around the US so if you happen to come to one of the shows come and say hi again uh, it's this compressor and uh, I hope you like the video um, I know there's gonna be tons of tongue downs and YouTube so whatever dude um, it's part of doing what you like but if you like it good if you don't um, I'll try to do better next time but for now um, this is it Flavio you did a great job once again um, keep sending me stuff I'll promise I'll be better at um, doing some more more uh, videos on your stuff um, so thank you once again for tuning in um, maybe I'll work in a little intro or something I don't know I'm not great at it um, and uh, that was it cool